Hey guys, good day and welcome to another episode of uh, Here Comes the Farm Life. So uh, today's episode is going to be about uh, my uh, golden apple snails, or uh, some people call them uh, golden mystery snails. So I noticed that there are not uh, many uh, videos online as compared to uh, fish keeping on uh, golden apple snails. So I decided to just uh, share my experiences and observations about uh, golden apple snails. So I've uh, I've had these guys uh, for quite some time, as in uh, basically uh, since I, I think since I've uh, begun the aquarium hobby, and uh, basically they are uh, kept in a tank. Apart from uh, being interesting to watch, uh, they are they make excellent cleaners. So they they are kind of uh, take care of all the wasted food. Uh, they also love eating um, algae off the glasses. Uh, basically, any waste uh, material uh, they t- kind of take care of. Uh, they also make excellent scavengers. So, uh, if uh, we've noticed uh, a dead fish uh, and uh, you kind of uh, forget about it or it goes unnoticed, this, the snails will kind of uh, eat them up in no time. Uh, in turn, kind of helping up with the uh, ammonia formation in the tank because uh, if you leave a dead fish or or uh, of wasted food in the tank for too long it, it uh, produces uh, ammonia which is not good for the water quality and in turn not good for your fish and um, and, and they are i think uh, one of the most uh, active species of snails uh, as per my observation because probably they're so big uh, so uh, that's that's why you can notice their movements and uh, and they are pretty active and also peaceful at the same time so it's not a good idea to keep them in an aquarium with uh, aggressive fish like maybe oscars or uh, or uh, in some cases tiger barbs even even cichlids like cuz I, I tried uh, keeping a pair in my cichlid tank it did not uh, go well cuz basically uh, the, the aggressive fish they tend to kind of keep uh, biting them in um, on the feelers or tentacles uh, whatever you call them and and these uh, guys are actually uh, considered an invasive species so it's not a good idea to uh, leave them in a, a local uh, pond or a lake because because these guys breed like crazy like uh, uh, this tank uh, so so these guys are just kept them in the display tank so that you guys can uh, see them properly but uh, if you notice here this tank i guess i've showed it to you guys before uh, there's a crazy population explosion of uh, these golden apple snails uh, now these babies are just about uh, a few weeks old i believe and uh, so so what happens is basically uh, they uh, come above the surface of the water these snails uh, the adults and they lay a clutch of eggs so that's how the eggs look uh, let me show you a better view so basically that's how the eggs look and uh, depending on the light and the temperature and the uh, amount of moisture moisture humidity in the air uh, they hatch anywhere uh, between two to three weeks and uh, they directly fall into the water and they're really tiny when they're born and once they start eating and uh, and they grow pretty quickly and they're noticeable and uh, they kind of uh, make a decent addition to your aquarium also uh, though they don't do that well with plants as in the plants don't do well with them because they tend to uh, eat plants but uh, not particularly as in if only if they kind of I've noticed if they are starving they tend to eat plants but if there's enough food for them to go around they are pretty happy with that extra food and they won't really bother your plants and uh, there's one a negative thing about them that i feel is that they uh, cause a lot of waste as in uh, they excrete a lot of waste after they eat but uh, that's better than uh, wasted food uh, catching fungus so uh, that's about it uh, if you guys know anything more or uh, if there are any other points you guys would like to add feel free to mention them in the comment section below uh, thanks for watching guys and have a great day ahead bye bye